What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and let's welcome back the M3. Yes, it is still here, it's still alive and still kicking and from the looks of it, if you look at it, it looks like there are no more modifications that are needed on this thing. I think it looks really good, but that is not always the case because there's always something to mod. This thing is just looking like a straight snack all the time. Ugh, I can't stand it. <laughs> Looks so good, but there is something that we have not done yet on this car, and that would be roundels. So this is still my stock roundel. I've had this since the car, since I've owned the car. I mean, it's got some little pitting marks here. This has been here since day one. Hopefully you guys can see that little rock chippy thing here. And uh, this is something that I was gonna eventually change at some point, but not a ton of people make roundels that are what I'm looking for. Um, but actually, IND Distribution actually came out with some OEM roundels with the chrome around here being black, gloss black. And I, I think that's a real subtle, subtle thing to do, but uh, necessary. I mean, if you guys take a trip around the car, there's pretty much no chrome on this thing at all. Um, so, I mean, there's a little bit here, obviously on the M3, uh, obviously on the roundels as well, but pretty much all the other chrome has been deleted off of this thing, and I'm not a huge fan of chrome. Um, here's another another bit here, right on the wheels. Obviously, the center here is got some chrome on it, but nothing else on this thing is chrome. Deleted all the chrome out of the headlights. The kidney grills, obviously, are BMW M Performance, black chrome. What else? These are no longer chrome. I mean, just everything. Even went above and beyond. I did a gloss black badge back here, which I've had for a very long time. A lot of guys have asked me why I haven't done like carbon fiber roundels or black or whatever, or buy those little tiny vinyl overlays to cover the blue. I actually personally like the blue. It's kind of a nice little touch. Plus I've got little little hints of blue on the interior of the car. So I think it just kind of flows together. And I'm just a big fan of the OEM roundel. So and the way it looks. But like I said, we do have some new roundels here that we're going to be installing. They're not actually from IND Distribution. They're actually from a company called Impulse Designs, which unfortunately I'm not going to vouch for because the customer service has been real spotty. And uh, I'm actually lucky to have these now that I've now that i done a little bit more research and you know some guys have been complaining about them on the forum and not been able to get a hold of them. So, um, but reasonably priced considering IND is exponentially more when it comes to this kind of stuff. But um, overall, I think the roundels look really good. I'll show you guys what we got. Once again, these are from Impulse Designs, but I will not be vouching for them. So I am going to put a link in my video description to IND's website if you want to purchase a set of these. But more or less, they're the same. Uh, they are BMW OEM roundels and um, basically just painted gloss black around the edges. It'll be a nice subtle upgrade. And to me, everything's all in the details. We actually did the same modification on Craig's uh, Fire Orange M3. Uh, did a video on that as well, but figured I'd take you guys along for this ride. Uh, that way you guys can see my car a little bit. It's been a while since I've done an M3 video, but these are basically the only tools we're going to need. So I've got some Schwaben trim tools. I really don't kind of recommend these. They're kind of flimsy, but I think for what we're doing, this is going to be just fine. Additionally, I do have some painter's tape and I might get some dental floss just to kind of help us. But the good thing is the front emblem over here is just kind of compression fitted inside of here. So there isn't any tape or anything that we need to fight versus the rear, which has tape around the outside. The front end of my car does have some PPF on it. So if you guys can see, here's kind of an edge of where that PPF stops. Um, so the whole purpose of my tape here is to kind of protect the paint as well as my paint protection film. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this whole area around the roundel. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my tape on here. My only problem is this car has a ceramic coating on here and this tape is not sticking too well to it. But uh, really the purpose of this is to protect my paint. So um, I'll take what I can get. But I'm gonna just kind of take my trim tool here and try to prop underneath here if I can. Find a good spot to prop. 
All right, so as you can see, my tape is not staying well at all. The ceramic coating is fantastic. <laughs> um, I do have basically some dental floss here that I've kind of weaved underneath here to kind of help me pull this up a little bit, but I think I've gotten it just enough that I can kind of come in here with my trim tool on the bottom. So once again, the prongs are one here and one here, so you don't want to pry from these areas. I'm gonna pry from the bottom, Let's see if I can get this in here. Here we go. Got it underneath there a little bit. Oh, my tape. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, all right, so now that I've got that under here, I'm gonna use my other little device. Kinda help prop this up. I'll kinda slowly go around, just so I don't lose it. I'll leave that under. Kind of move up this direction. My floss out. Slowly getting it. Really just patience and uh, try not to get on the paint so much. Alright, so that might happen to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so again, no tape. Good thing we're not keeping this guy, but um, you can see underneath here is super dirty, so it gives me an opportunity to polish this area up. But we are going to be retaining these factory grommets here because that's what the new one's going to go into. So I'm going to clean this up, but that was not terribly difficult. You just kind of kind of got to manhandle it a little bit and it'll come off eventually, even if it flies off the car. <laughs> As you guys can see, I have this area cleaned up as best I could, at least without having a polisher. But I did hit this with some clay bar as well as a little bit of wax just to kind of have some protection back here. But uh, the new one here, so here's the new one. It actually did come with some 3M double-sided tape here on the back, but I really don't think this is necessary, um, especially on the front because it's kind of a concave piece here, so the tape really doesn't do very much unless it's around the actual edge. Uh, so I will actually probably modify this one for the back, but I did take it off the front. And uh, as you can see, we're ready to go ahead and put this on. And once again, we are using the factory uh, little grommets here. We just need to kind of push this on into place and we should be good to go. All right, so pretty much ready to go here. Just need to compression fit this back on and push her on down. Pretty simple. All right, so this one's pushed into place, ready to go. I am actually going to hit both these roundels with a little bit of ceramic coating since the whole car is ceramic coated and might as well hit the emblems as well, but that's generally it for the front. We can move on to the back. Okay, working on the rear here, pretty much same process. I think the tape is gonna stick a little bit better back here. Seems to be so far at least the rear is a little bit harder to do because it does have tape all the way around the entire roundel as well. All right, I'm gonna start with my little fishing line, whatever this is. Dental floss works also. I'll try to get it under here somewhere. Okay. So with my fishing line here, I'm gonna kind of saw around the tape all the way around the whole roundel. Could use a little bit of heat here and heat up the roundel, but it's gonna make it harder to kind of touch. So I think if you just use some fishing line or dental floss, you'll be able to kind of cut through it. All right, next up, I've got this flat little trim tool here. Just kind of wedging it through here. Again, trying to break the uh, 3M tape. I'm also kind of pushing up on it like that. Just try to wedge it. Excuse all the noise, The uh, we do live kind of out in the country a little bit, in the suburbs, so there are some, there are some dirt bikes going around, but 
As you can see, this is helping quite a bit. So it's wedging up quite a bit. I think I've gotten through all the tape, so that's good. Okay, so as you can see, a lot more difficult on the front because of all the tape here and my little plastic grommet thing actually came out with the actual roundel. So I'm gonna have to pull this back off of here and put it back in there, but I need to clean all this up first. And uh, so the new roundel should have a little bit of tape on it, I think. I think it'll be a good idea. So I think it's safe to take all of this off now. And same thing, we'll clean the front up. One of the many joys of being fully catless and having a white car, you can actually see how much whiter it is back here behind the roundel versus the rest of the trunk. Um, so uh, that's something that you kind of have to live with if you're going to go catless, but you can kind of tell there the discoloration, but it is what it is. And eventually I'll probably have this all repaint corrected anyway. Another word of advice, if you have some really stubborn tape, uh, I like to use some 3M adhesive remover. This stuff does wonders. Really good to use also in removing, you know, a stock spoiler, that sort of stuff. Um, but pretty much got this all cleaned up now. I'm going to clay bar this area and then also put a little bit of wax underneath here. So I think everything's all cleaned up here. I went ahead and pulled this little grommet off the old one. Go ahead and put that back into place and then we can finally put our new roundel on. So obviously remove the tape off, backing off the tape and uh, go ahead and line it all up. Push it on. Tuck this out of place. And there you have it, folks. Looks super clean. I actually think that it makes the roundel look a little bit bigger than the stock one just because the whole thing's black now. So uh, it makes the black appear to be bigger. So I think it looks really nice. Ladies and gentlemen, that just about does it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. I think it just it's a nice little subtle detail upgrade and uh, it looks super clean. So I am going to put a little bit of ceramic coating on both of these roundels and call it a day. I think it looks really good. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Otherwise, we will see you guys on the next video. Take care, stay tuned for more. See you then.